This video is brought to you by my good friends over at Resolution. Now this is the HubSpot integration with Confluence. And in case you missed it, we do have a HubSpot integration with Jira. So make sure you check out that video as well. Now, before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and don't forget to check out the links down below so that you can get a code in order to get a discount on your subscription to this amazing app. Now let's jump into Confluence and show you how this application works. We're going to start things off by simply installing the application. So you're going to want to either use the link in the description down below and or make sure you're clicking on this HubSpot CRM. This one's the one that's made by my good friends over at Resolution. So once you're here, you're going to want to click on try it free. And again, don't forget to check out the link in the description down below as you're going to be able to find some discount codes so that you can get 20% off your installation of this application. So once it's done installing, we're going to click on the get started button here. And this is going to walk us through connecting and setting everything up correctly. So you're going to want to opt in or opt out, depending on what you want to do here with the analytics. It's basically going to give you a summary of what you need to do. So you're going to just scroll down. Obviously, you're going to want to read all this information. Click on next. And then we're going to start our journey here. So I'm going to click on this button. We're going to initiate a connection. So we're going to click on create connection. I'm going to name it Confluence with HubSpot. And then I'm going to just give my site admins the privilege here. And I'm going to leave everything else alone. And I am now going to hit connect. So once I do that, it's going to take me over to HubSpot. I'm going to pick my HubSpot account. I'm going to click choose account. And then I'm going to agree to all this. I'm going to come down here, agree to this, click this checkbox, hit connect app. And now my HubSpot and Confluence are going to be talking to each other. And now that they're connected together, now I'm going to show you how HubSpot and Confluence work together to show you the respective data quickly and in a synchronized manner. Now, I want to do remind you that the reason why we do this, the reason why we integrate with HubSpot is for a variety of different reasons. But some of the top ones is the licensing cost. So if you have users working in Confluence that need information from HubSpot, you don't want to have to go and grab additional licenses. So you can essentially integrate with HubSpot and be able to bring in your HubSpot data and display it inside of Confluence without, again, having to take on that overhead of additional licenses. Two, it serves as a single repository. It serves as a single source of truth. Rather than having client information or deal information or company information in two separate places, we can preserve and utilize and leverage that information that is already in your HubSpot, and then Confluence is simply going to reach in and leverage it, right? It's going to be able to utilize it and just have a single source of truth. So rather than recreating all that information in Confluence just for the purposes of tracking, you're going to be able to simply just tap into HubSpot and bring that data in. So let me show you an example of how this works. So you're going to want to start off by going to a page. I'm simply going to go to my demonstration space here, and then we're going to go and create a page. And I'm just going to simply start with a brand new blank page. So now that I'm in the blank page, we're going to give this a title. So I'm just going to call it HubSpot Demo. And then down here, this is where we're now going to do our integration with HubSpot. I'm going to click on this insert button and I'm going to type in HubSpot. And as you can see here, automatically the HubSpot CRM for Confluence shows up. As you can see, you're going to recognize the resolution logo. So we're going to click on that. And that is going to give us the pop up so that we can start looking for things. So here under search, you're going to be able to type in for a specific contact company or deal or you can simply just type in the asterisk and then pick your element like contact. So once I hit enter here, as you can see, it's going to go and find me all my contacts. If I change it to companies and I click search here, it's going to go find me all the different companies. I don't have to do it this way, though. So if you know the specific contact, you can just put in their name, hit the search button, and it's just going to go and find that specific user. But if you just want to bring in everybody, maybe you're creating a page where you're going to show all your contacts. You don't have to add a one by one. You can simply hit the asterisk, hit the search button, and it's going to go find everybody. Now, once you're here, you can select, right? So maybe I just want to bring in Maria and Brian, or you can bring them all in. It's up to you on how you want to do this. But whatever selection you do, you're then going to be able to click on insert and bring that information over. Now, very similar to what we did with the Jira one. Once you hit publish, this information is now going to be basically bi-directional. So once you have this connection established and once you've inserted these objects, then this is going to work just like in Jira. So I can click into Maria Johnson and this is going to redirect me over to HubSpot. 
So once we click on a user inside of Confluence, we are redirected over to HubSpot. And here, I wanna remind you of one little critical thing that on the bottom right side, the integration to Jira, if you have it, is visible here so you're able to add your issues and or see any existing issues that you have been working on with the HubSpot for Jira integration. So if you haven't already, again, do go check out that video and look at how to get this connected. But on the Confluence side, what we're gonna be focusing on is the information that is inside a HubSpot is synced back with Confluence. So if you remember from here, when we bring in this information for our clients, we're going to see that we bring in a phone number, a mobile phone number, and a contact owner. So let's assume that we wanted to just update an email and phone number for Lena. And so I can simply click on their name here, and it's gonna redirect me to HubSpot. Over here on the left-hand side, I can click on this little pencil for their email. I can put Lena at awesome.com. And once I do that, I can click save. And then if I wanna put in phone number, I can do that as well. So I can do 555, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever numbers I'm putting in here. There we go. I think that's enough numbers here. Apparently didn't like this. So let's do another five, five, five. And it actually is validating these numbers to make sure that they exist. So let's try seven, one, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four. And once the validation of the phone number is accepted, you can click apply. And now this information lives inside of HubSpot. And again, I wanna remind you that we are updating the information at a single source of truth, which happens to be HubSpot. But once that information is saved, I can come back over to Confluence and I can do a refresh on my page here. And my information for Lena has now been updated. As you can see, the information that I provided inside of HubSpot is now leveraged here. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg, right? You can create pages where maybe you wanna extrapolate a little bit more or go into a little bit more detail as to a specific contract that you're working on or a specific deal that you're working on or you just want to add a little bit more flavor of information that you are going to contain or keep within the world of confluence but you do want the critical information the contact information whatever other information is appropriate inside a hubspot you want it to stay over there but you do want it synced and so this plugin is going to allow you to again maintain your data integrity it's going to allow you to keep the HubSpot information preserved, but also be able to leverage that information inside of Confluence so that you're not duplicating data. So this is a really, really cool way to, again, bring in data into your pages, however you wanna do this, and be very selective, right? You don't have to bring in everything like I did. You can bring in just a specific client or just a specific deal, and you can filter and choose your data for whatever it is appropriate of what you're trying to do with your specific pages. So I think this is again, a really neat application that allows you to not have to duplicate data. It allows you to not have to double or triple your licensing costs because you're having to now get licenses for everybody to see all the different data. And so this is a, again, a really great solution. And I also, again, for the third time, want to mention that this also does integrate with Jira. So if you're going to be creating Jira tickets, you can link the Jira tickets in HubSpot and you can also then bring those Jira tickets into Confluence and have a very smart, cohesive view where you can see all the data and have all the variables of the situation and be able to have the most amount of information possible so you can make the best strategic decision. And before we end this video, I wanted to show you two more cool things. Over here on the left, under apps within your Confluence space, you now also have this HubSpot search button. And when you click on that, you are gonna be able to do two really cool things. Number one, from within Confluence, and keep in mind, you don't have to leave Confluence, you don't have to go to HubSpot in order to do this, but from within Confluence, you're gonna simply be able to hit this Create Object button. And then here, you can create new objects inside of HubSpot. So I'm gonna just quickly create a new company. I'm gonna call this one the best company ever and just hit create object here and now that i've done this this object now lives within hubspot and now we can search it up so if i put like the best over here i'm gonna be able to hit search and it's gonna go and find the best company and the best company ever so you're able to do some really really advanced searches which is feature number two that i wanted to highlight here not only can you just simply do a search, but you can fine tune, you can save if you want a specific company, you can add filters, 
uh, you can keep adding and statements or or statements you can also just specifically select what information you want to bring back so the search capabilities here is very very powerful and very very interesting to see that just within the world of confluence you don't have to leave here but not disrupting your flow not disrupting your whatever train of thought that you had you're able to do very very advanced filtering and you can also create objects from within the confluence ui so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure you use the link down in the description down below so you can install and get a discount to hubspot for confluence crm so make sure you are checking that information out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to drop a like if you got value out of this video thanks and i'll see you in the next one Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need.